As you may know, I make things for a living, including these pizza steels. They are cut from thick steel plate, which is very expensive stuff to buy, especially these days. So I was wondering what I could do with the offcuts. There is not a lot of room to play with, but careful positioning and an accurate drawing means I can cut interesting shaped brackets from it. Now these brackets are quite clever really because they make it easy to build a garden bench from a pallet and a surprisingly comfortable one too. I know pallet benches look easy to make already but if you've ever actually tried making one you'll know that they're not. They're actually heavy and awkward and joining them together at the right angle without brackets is quite a challenge. So I thought I'd put these brackets up for sale in our shop so you won't have to struggle anymore. But of course you'll still need a pallet and not just any pallet. You see there are lots of sorts of pallets out there and for this bench you'll need the sort that is double-sided and has four ribs running through it just like this one. When I was experimenting for this project I found three of these in our yard already that I hadn't even noticed. So they can't be that rare but they are not the most common sort. This sort for instance won't work. It's not double sided and it doesn't have four rips running through it. But here's another one that will work. It has one, two, three, four four ribs and it is much the same on both sides double sided so keep looking for the right sort of pallet and when you found one then you'll be ready to go well you'll also need some tools but not complicated tools a saw a hammer and a screwdriver if you happen to have an electric screwdriver it will speed things up a lot but it's really not necessary to start, you'll need to remove the first plank on both sides. Sometimes they do just pop off, but this pallet was nearly new and so they were a lot more stubborn. I used a second hammer to help me, but I have another method to show you in a minute. It's not disastrous if the planks split, but you may need one later, so try to get at least one off hole. Then cut off all four ribs. These will be the legs and trust me you don't need them to be any longer than this. Then cut the rest of the pallet in half and the hardest part of the whole project is already done. The three-legged bracket holds together the back and the seat and the leg. All you need is some screws. I'll put them in with the brackets so you'll have the right sort. Now, the two-legged bracket obviously holds the front leg in position but don't have it sitting way out in front. Set it back a little and it will look much better. Then turn the whole thing over and repeat on the other side. Now there's plenty of wriggle room in all the joints to set up the bench just the way you like it. But I would suggest that you have the seat higher at the front than the back and the back of the bench a little more than right angles to the seat. 
but you know if it doesn't feel right just undo a screw or two and move things around a bit and that's it except <laughs> except if the planks in the seat are a bit far apart you might like to move one over and fill the gap with one of those that you took off earlier here I'm hammering the heads of the nails right through using a bolt it's much easier than levering them with a hammer and less likely to split the wood too so I should have thought of that earlier shouldn't I and that's the job done easy huh well quite when we found how comfortable this one was, we realised we actually needed three. So now we can follow the sun around the garden. If only there was more sitting down time in the day, and a little less rain and a little more sun would be nice too, please. Afternoon tea under the ash tree, Tim. That sounds lovely. What shall we sit on? Will we bring chairs? Uh, no, we won't oh. need chairs. Come on and have a look. Oh, look, there's a bench there. Brilliant, come on, let's sit down here. <laughs> have our tea. Let's do just that. What do you think? It's just uh, perfect. Lovely tea, well done. Chilly enough, isn't it? 